just as negative landlord rhetoric is not very helpful, so is negative rhetoric about landlords that isn't based in fact. There are a small number of bad landlords. To suggest that all landlords are bad is not true and it is not fair. Um, undoubtedly there are some people who approach it from a political position that in fact landlords should not exist at all. And, and fair enough, that is, that is their, their right, they can take that position if they want. But it is not currently the economic model we follow in, the, in, in, in most of the developed world, or in fact pretty much in, in almost any country, barring a few very, very smart minor exceptions. So the reality is it is not an economic model we follow. I suppose it could be if that's what people want. But to turn around and say all landlords are evil because they're just because they're landlords is unrealistic. The reality is most landlords are people saving for a pension with one or two properties. We should, in most cases, applaud their acumen and good sense because they are making sure they will not be a burden on the state when they're older. That is a good thing, and we should be happy about that. Yes, there are problems with the housing market. Landlords didn't make that happen. The government and house builders made that happen, and our planning system made that happen. Landlords didn't steal properties off people. We have not built enough properties. Now that then leads to a, a massively increased pressure and lashing out by people on both sides. But to ratchet up the rhetoric as by tenants and landlords doesn't actually take us further forward. And the media is, is, is a bit naughty in this sense because the media will do what they need to do to sell media, which is, of course, to get good, exciting debates and, and exciting comments. And it's not a very interesting story for the newspapers to, to paint to say, what a nice landlord. It's a much more interesting story for them to paint a picture about a landlord who's got 50 tenants living in a small shed at the bottom of the garden. That is a more interesting story. It's going to get more readership. It's going to get more links to their website. It's going to get more comments. But we need to bear in mind that the media is the medium. And the stories they paint, paint are undoubtedly true and are deplorable, but they are not the sector. And there is a difference. Tenants must recognise that, and landlords must recognise it as well. It's not terribly productive for landlords and tenants to be at loggerheads with each other. I often hear people talking about sides. You're on the landlord's side or the tenant's side. It's not about sides. It's a, it's a relationship between two people, one of whom has property and another of whom wants to live in it. That's not a side, that's a relationship. It's, un it's unnecessary adversarial to talk about sides. So there are much more things that unite good landlords and good tenants than divide them. They are united by the desire to have good properties and nice places to live. They are united by the desire to receive rent and to keep to their obligations. So there are many ways united about the same things. It is only a very small number of bad landlords who are not part of that party and want to rent bad property. There is a very small number of tenants who do not want to pay their rent and want to try and cheat the system. But they are small numbers on bo on, in, on, in both areas. And we are just as united in many ways with local government and central government who have a genuine desire to fix these problems. Sure, they want to get elected and all kinds of other stuff as well, but that's not to say for a minute that politicians on whatever, whatever political party aren't ultimately aiming to find better solutions to the housing situation and to have good properties for good tenants to live in. And local government officers, however, you know, whether they're good, bad or indifferent, are still ultimately trying to fix problems within the housing sector. If we all get together and look at those problems calmly and think about how we can fix them together, we get a lot further than screaming abuse at each other. Because if we all just scream abuse at each other, actually no solutions come forward. And what will probably happen is government will go and do something a bit off the wall without, having, without it being thought through, and we'll regret it later. And that's happened in the past. Uh, and a good example of that would be tenancy deposit protection. A little bit off the wall, generally works reasonably well now, but how many iterations have we had to go through to get there? And that's how bad laws get made. We need to work together to resolve issues and to decide what those issues are and to fix housing for everybody. It doesn't make a lot of sense for landlords to, to make somewhat ill-informed complaints about aspects of the system. The reality is, while I don't, we don't agree with it, the government has a right to pass legislation. Um, obviously, they shouldn't pass bad legislation, and sometimes undoubtedly that does happen. 
And they have a right to tax landlords. Again, they ought not to, and I think they need to think about the consequences of that a lot more. But to respond by simply saying that, that the government or local authorities are out to get landlords is untrue and unrealistic. Local authorities are not out to get landlords. Undoubtedly, individual local authority officers may have a negative view of landlords. Some other local authority officers may have a negative view of tenants, but they are there to do a job. They perhaps don't always do that job very well in some cases, unfortunately. In some cases, they do the job very well indeed. And we would be better off to highlight cases where local authorities are not doing their job particularly well, rather than, than adopting a, a siege mentality, which assumes that all local authorities are engaged in some incredible conspiracy to attack landlords. That is, that is the sort of, you know, there's, there's a, a JFK, you know, a Twin Towers approach to the world, which which just doesn't, isn't borne out by the reality and, and actually makes landlords look mad. And that's not helpful at all. Landlords are under pressure, yes, absolutely, but attacking people is not going to resolve that issue. Making clear, reasoned arguments why policies should change is going to solve that problem.